the fourth week of May. So we've only got a couple weeks of school left. We need to finish strong. We need to run the race. Oh, yeah, run the race. That's what we're talking about this month. We are running the race of life, my friends. And as we're doing that, we're learning about commitment. Commitment is making a plan and putting it into practice. Our memory verse comes from Timothy, the first book of Timothy, and it tells us that training the body has some value, but being godly has value in every way. It promises help for the life you are living now and the life to come. And that comes from 1 Timothy 4, 8. And we've talked about, but how do we run the race of life? We know that in certain sports, like soccer, you got to practice your kicking, you got to practice your running, you got to practice your passing, you got to practice all that. But what do we do to run the race of life? Well, the very first week we learned we keep practicing what matters most. And the four things that we picked this month are hearing from God, praying to God, which we talked about last week. This week we're going to be talking about talking about God and then the very last week, we're going to be talking about practicing living for God. So this week, we're going to be in the book of Matthew. And just like we were in the New Testament last week, we're in the New Testament again. And Jesus has asked his, his disciples about who people thought he was. Because there was a lot going on then. Because some people thought, oh, he's the Messiah. He's the one that God has sent to save us. And that's what the disciples believed and the new believers believed. But some people were like, who is this guy? We don't know who he is. I doubt he is who he says he is. But when he asked his disciples that, then he turned the question around on them. After everything they'd seen Jesus do and heard what Jesus had said, he asked them, who do you say I am? Who do you think I am? And this gave Peter the perfect moment to declare what he believed about Jesus. He said, truly, you are the Son of God. Truly, you are the Son of God. Peter got it. He understood but how did he understand, friends? Because he'd heard from Jesus. He'd learned from Jesus. He spent time with Jesus. That's what we're doing today. That's what we do every Sunday. We talk about God and who he is and who Jesus is. And that's an important job for you guys to do. This week, the bottom line is practice talking about God. We can know God better by talking about him with others. As you guys grow in your faith, you will have questions. I still have questions and sometimes a few doubts. But we want you to practice this faith skill. Talk and learn how to talk through those questions about God with others who believe in Jesus. There are kids that you will meet at school, in your neighborhood, on your sports teams, at birthday parties or other celebrations that I will never have a chance to see. But because I've been able to talk to you about God and about Jesus, you can talk to them about God and Jesus. And the good news of Jesus spreads and spreads and spreads. So this week, friends, remember, we are going to practice talking about God, and we're going to learn how to do that. I'm excited about this. I'm excited about it for you. I'm excited about it for me. So let's talk to God about that and see if he can't help us do that. Dear God, how I thank you and praise you that you have given us the Bible that tells us all about who you are and who Jesus is. Thank you that you give us our churches and our parents and our pastors and our ministers 
and all sorts of wonderful people in our lives that talk to us about God. Father, help us to spread the good news of Jesus. Help us to shine your bright light of hope and love and peace and kindness and goodness throughout our world. Lord, we just love you so, so much. And we thank you and we praise you that you are Jesus. You are God. It's in Jesus' precious name that we all agree and say, Amen. I'll see you next week, sweet friends. Bye. Fly to Jesus. Fly to Jesus.